Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to a new video. So if we take a look at this store, which started in October and we scroll down a little bit, we can see the average conversion rate for the store is 3.62%. If we then take a look at the average order value, we can see this is just over $45. So if you're selling a product that's more expensive than this, expect your conversion rate to be a little bit lower. If you're selling a product that's cheaper than this, then obviously you can expect it to be a bit higher. Now also obviously it's impossible to put a specific kind of figure or number on what your conversion rate should be but anywhere between sort of two and six percent is what's typical for me if you can't achieve a conversion rate in that sort of range then the chances are you're probably struggling to make your Shopify store profitable and struggling to make your ads work so in this video I'm going to show you three secret apps that you've probably never heard of before that's going to help change this and ultimately help increase your conversion rate these aren't just going to be your typical apps that you hear everybody talking about either like your typical upsell app now whilst every Shopify store should have an upsell app in my opinion the objective of this video is to introduce you to three apps that you've probably never seen before to help differentiate your Shopify store from the competition if we take a look on sales source we can see that the free debut theme by Shopify is the most popular theme currently with nearly 3,000 Shopify stores using it what this can mean is that if you're using just the free debut theme whilst it can work and I've had a lot of success myself using it any help you can get to make your store look better than the next persons than the competition is also going to be beneficial for you and your business and that is the objective of this video these three apps that I'm going to show you will help you do that and therefore will help increase your conversion rate and with that being said thanks for tuning in I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you try some of these apps out I'm not affiliated with any of them whatsoever these are generally apps I use on my own Shopify stores if you enjoy the content please drop the video a like and of course if you want to see more of my videos please consider subscribing as well let's jump straight into it so first things first, let's take a little side-by-side -side comparison to show you exactly what these apps do and how they can transform your product pages. Product pages are obviously super important. They're the first page in which your customer sees. You need to give off a good impression, otherwise it's gonna to lead to that person leaving. Ultimately, these apps are gonna help you turn those visitors into customers. So on the left-hand side, we have the before and on the right-hand side, we have the after. Straight away, the one on the right just looks a bit more brighter and a bit more pleasing to the eye the first thing you may have noticed other than the actual image itself it's super important you have the correct image that pops up I'm going to show you how to display this in a second but the next thing you may have noticed then is the actual variants themselves on the left hand side we have default option supplied by Shopify the debut theme where you have to click the actual button which then opens up a drop down ie adding two or three clicks to the customers kind of purchase process now whilst that may not seem like quite a lot the quicker and easier you can make it for somebody to make a purchase on your Shopify store will only result in more conversions. I read in one article somewhere, it was a few years back now, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen now, but it was something like if Amazon added one or two seconds to the time in which it took somebody to make a purchase on their website, it would cost them hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds. So while some of these changes may seem minor, they can stack up and make a very big difference. Something else to point out, which isn't a topic of the video, but something super important still is that on both of these stores, the add to cart button is actually an outline button. Make sure this is a solid button on your stores. Also in this particular store, I have the Google Pay option disabled, leaving only PayPal and Apple Pay. These will be the two most common and popular third party payment providers other than actual Shopify payments that you have installed in your store. So get rid of Google Pay so it doesn't trump PayPal. You want people to see that you offer PayPal because it's a household name and people trust it. So as we can see on the right hand side, instead of having to go through all these different drop downs and boxes, we can simply select the color and size we want straight away, it's super easy. Next on the right hand side, we have these kind of custom icon boxes. I'm gonna show you how to create these in a second. This is a great opportunity to get across any information you want the customer to see straight away. Way. So if you have a product like this, which has loads of different features and loads of different benefits, this is your opportunity to basically summarize them in two or three really easy points and essentially give the customer all the information and benefits they need to know about your product so they can go ahead and buy it there and then. If you don't have a product that has that sort of information, then you can use it as an opportunity to build social proof and instill trust with your customers. So you can mention how quick or how free your delivery is and also let customers know how your returns and how you get 
guarantees work as well. Moving on to the third and final development, on the left hand side we have the product description. So product descriptions, they're both the same for either product but on the left hand side to get to the bottom we have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until we get to the bottom on the right hand side we have the description then we can go straight to the spec then straight to the guarantee and straight to the delivery now where this comes into play and is super important i know it doesn't look like much seeing this on a desktop so what i'll do is i'll take some screenshots or a recording on my mobile phone i'll put it on screen now just so you can see how much easier and quicker it is for a customer to digest the information about a particular product rather than having to scroll down a page say four five six seven eight nine ten times especially if you have a product which has loads of information about it then they can just click a button and see the information they want where they want it and when they want it what you can also do for these tabs as well now these are pretty basic these ones are just very quickly put together for this video but the app i'm going to show you actually works with review apps too so you can have a tab which says reviews so customers can go straight to that tab and see the reviews immediately instead of having to scroll all the way down to the bottom of your product page which is super advantageous going back to those points i mentioned earlier the quicker and easier you can make it for somebody to consume all the information make their mind up and essentially make a purchase is going to benefit you and your business and your bottom line profitability severely so with that being said what three apps do you need to transform your product page into the one that I just showed you number one is this G variant image and color swatch so let's jump in quickly and I'll just take 30 seconds to take you through the app and show you essentially how it works so essentially all the changes you're going to be making are in this options section here on the navigation column on the left hand side so we have the color variants, we have the size variants, we have color variants because there's currently, basically what will happen is the app will list all the different variants that you have installed on your website. Because some of these product pages haven't been edited, they still have the American spelling of the word color basically. So to edit the variant, so we wanna change the color variant which affects currently five different products. There's a few different options we can have. We can, we can display a color which is the actual option in which I displayed um, in the example earlier. Or what we can actually do is we can take this story as an example we can actually upload images for each individual variant so the customer can actually see kind of like a preview of what the product looks like and as we can see on this kind of sample store exa example store sorry um, it looks kind of cool looks kind of nice so to do this is dead easy to do just hit the config button and it's going to take you to your different options so here we obviously have the blue so we can set it to any shade of blue we can even set it to green if we want if you have an image a variant sorry which is say multicolored, we could have say green and let's go for black and it's going to display it like so on the left hand side if we just click save and then once that has finished saving we can go back to our product page and if i just reload this now we should have a nice green and black variant button which you can see there if you want to use an image instead simply click select file upload your image hit the save button and once it's finished saving obviously just go back to your product page and hit the refresh button and we can see now instead of green and black we've got a nice kind of image demonstration of exactly what the product looks like the next app i want to show you guys is pretty product pages it comes with a free 10 day trial so let's just open this up and take you through a run through of how to create these they're super easy and quick to create and you can actually select the individual product listings in which you want to display them on so let's go for create new feature let's start with the icons so you've got all these 151 different colored ones you've got monochrome and you have animated also so let's just go for find something that kind of catches my eye I believe there was a Bitcoin one um, here so online shopping we can select this the title can be let's say Bitcoin accepted here accepted here and then shop all your favorite products with Bitcoin or something along those lines. This is purely just for example purposes. Go ahead and click create feature and then we actually get to choose the products we wanna display this on. So we can actually add all or we can select individual ones. So let's go for apps um, and the pools for paws, anti-rip and foldable dog pool, which is this product page example. And now if we hit refresh, it should display quite nicely a little Bitcoin icon there. The third and final app, and this is one of my favorite ones, definitely something I recommend everybody try out um, the Shopify store. It, it comes into benefits. I know it didn't look like much on desktop, but trust me on a mobile phone, um, it makes it so much easier for a customer to consume all the information about your product. So tabs by station, 
this is what your dashboard looks like. Go straight to tabs and there's a couple of different options in which you have to create these tabs. So number one is you can kind of do it manually, which is where you edit the product description. I'll show you in a second how to do this to create the tabs automatically, or you can create pro tabs. The more pro tabs you create, the more expensive the app becomes. But essentially what a pro tab does is it displays that tab on every single product page. To do them manually, like I did in the example I showed you, what you need to do is create a heading three title. So if we go back to our product page editor and we'll just edit down here and hit something. Um, let's go subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then in the text in the tab, let's say, and please hit the like button. And then to make this an actual tab, we just need to highlight it and we go to formatting, hit heading three, hit save. And once the changes take effect, we can go back to our product page, hit the refresh button. And once they do indeed take effect, we can see we now have a subscribe to my YouTube channel tab um, with the text added below. And that's basically how the Tabs by Station app works. And so with that being something, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, if you're still with me watching, um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, it really does mean a lot. If you enjoyed the video and you're going to try some of these apps out, please make sure you drop a like on the video as well. And of course, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing too. One final quick note before you go, if you are looking for a course to take all the headaches and pains and trial and error and confusion out of starting a Shopify dropshipping business, I highly recommend you check out my Ecom Academy Clubhouse. There will be a link in the video description down below. Even if you're a complete beginner and you have zero experience when it comes to all of this, it doesn't matter. The course is designed to take complete beginners with zero experience from day one in a step-by-step -step process to the point of having a fully-fledged functioning business, including marketing, store design like we saw today day as well as finding and sourcing products thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.